We should be live right now. Folks, welcome to the Friday Night Portrait Sessions with the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. Uh, Tuesday at 7 and the Miller family are putting faces up in front of you to, uh, to draw and we're waiting for folks to sign on. We see a few folks are signing on now and we're going to see where what things look like. So we're right now we're in positioning the the model mode. And we'll lift this tripod just a hair. Beth, do you do you see that yet? Mm-hmm. How's the top of his head? Oh, it uh let me open it up. Yeah, I think that's good. There's not too much space. Yeah. Let me share it to all of our groups. All right. Folks, we are bringing Drake Miller to you this Friday. As you can realize, we've, there's, uh, we've got a big family, and uh, they just keep on coming. We're glad that they are participating with us. Keep a straight face. <laughs> yeah. Well, last week, Adam was cracking up all the time. I know. Uh, we really pushed. We were being so silly. We really pushed poor Adam's like straight face skills and uh, so, so did you say you it looks like uh, he's up because we'll call Tim to get that that position set up and folks we uh, we're yeah. glad you joined us we are sitting uh, behind or actually in front of Drake but uh, off camera and sharing out did you get to the Tuesday 7 group already Beth? Mm -hmm. thank you um, Tim Actually, he's probably not listening. Do you want to give him a call or have me give him a call? All right. We can take turns with that. All right. Guys, we're glad you joined us. If you feel like sharing, remember you could share to one friend, to three friends, to an entire group. Mm-hmm. I'm going to talk to Tim here to check on positioning. And if anybody has any problems, um, I know that sometimes it's not always easy to get in. You just go to either the Tuesday at 7 uh, Facebook page, or you can go to Roger's Facebook page, or you can go to Tim Heron's Facebook page and click on the live video. And that will open it up so that you'll be able to see it expanded. And you can turn off the comments if that is distracting for you, um, you can turn off I, the sound. I can't pick up the call. And um, that way you don't have to be distracted by us talking either. We certainly won't take that personally. It looked like I, I tried to set it out and it said the call failed and then there was a call coming in. And... It's right here. Yeah, it's Roger. Yeah, yeah, no, no, not a problem. We're we just sat uh, Drake down. Um, do you want to start with a, a straight on and then have a move to left or right? Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Top top of the head is getting cut off just a little bit. Okay, I'll. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Once he's set up straight. Sounds good. All right. We'll we'll, uh, we'll move so him just good. a hair, and uh, <laughs> uh, we'll I'll lift the camera up. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Call, okay. call me back just a hair. Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye. Um. I said you call me back in just a hair. So Drake, do me a favor. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to scoot you this way just a Which hair. way? I'm going to turn the chair this way. Yep. And then I'm going to move this. And then we, do we want to, we need to move the one light to create some more shadow on his face? I don't think so. Uh, Laura Stack asked if we could move it a little closer to... This is about as close as... My feet will allow. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> okay. Excellent. So point. I know that. Yeah. 
All right, let's see what that, how that feed looks. I'll look over here, Drake. Hello, everybody. Thank you for coming in. Michelle, yes, family, friends, neighbors, uncle, whoever feels like joining in, we'd be happy to have you. Hang on one sec. We just got to get everybody aligned up. Hello. Hello. It is. Oh, okay, can you um, focus on whatever you're going to be staring at, whether it's the candle or whatever, so mm -hmm. Tim can get an idea of just what it's going to look like with you being still. And then, yeah, it's it's going to be mostly right in front of it, but it won't be quite as down as Actually, the last couple of times. I can look wherever, I'm just looking at the candle, so. Yeah, I'm going to bring it down to, like, here. Yeah. Um, Raise the camera up a little bit, and then Where's they camera? are asking if you can, but I think they're asking if you can bring it a little bit closer, but I'm thinking if you raise it up a little, that'll help. Because it's just right now, what? the angle of the camera, there's way more of his sweater than there is of his handsome face. Yeah. I see where. Is that up? See how it's. That up. ring light's gonna go out. Yep. I was gonna say it's flickering. Oh. Um. Okay. Yeah, he's he's trying to move it a little bit closer. The problem is space too, because Drake's got really really long legs. So where the tripod is versus where he is, we can we can move it to one side. Yeah, that's what he said. I'll bring your feet up. And then that may actually help create a little bit more um, shadow. Yeah, you can just move straight. Yep. Guys, we appreciate your patience as we're kind of setting up. It's good. Often trial and error, where you kind of set the camera. Let's see if that helps with Shiva. Yep. I just scooched the one that's beneath him a bit closer to see if that would help. That's starting to look pretty good, I think. It's it's getting harder and harder now that the sun's out later to create the, the shadows. Um, Uh, well, where we are, the light is coming, light's coming, yeah, it is on the same side down by his legs, pointing straight up at his face. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, there will be a little shift in the lighting. That's a good idea. And Okay. So guys, we're uh, we're here. We're coming down to just. Yeah, we can try. We can try zooming in just a teens or getting a little bit closer. Trying to move the camera just a teens. Yeah. And. Oh uh, yeah, just a little, because again, I know it's more about his face than his <coughs> his sweater. So we can scooch it up a little bit more and a little bit closer. When he's mean by scooch it up, what do you mean? We're, we're moving in, guys. Okay, we're just cool. getting a little closer. All right, let us know if we see anything else. All right, thank you. Okay, guys. Sorry, it's it's a sunnier. Oh, maybe that's. Well, that's that's better as long as yeah. we're. Let me just gotta watch that gap then. Um, because because it's a nice day and the sun finally decided to come out, we are. Um, Having a little bit more trouble with getting yeah, the shadowing on the face 
and so we just want to make sure that um, we've got it all set up and perfect for you guys if you have any other suggestions let us know please remember that there is a lag between us adjusting the camera and um, when you see it so your turn um, we uh, I tried to. <laughs> we're trying to time it out as best as we can uh, um, perfect Lewis, I don't know. I mean, I would assume sounds that dust sounds good. I think we're I think we're good. We got a thumbs up from Tim, so a, we're gonna go ahead and set the alarm. Thanks, Tim. Yeah, it looks very good All right. right now. Goodbye. Absolutely. Um, you want to set the alarm? Yes. All right, guys, we're Great. going to start our first thirty minutes. I'm getting there. Okay. Sit, ah. and Beth is starting the. Okay, I just started timer. it. So artists, I guess it's go. Time to time to go. Um, so I'm not even signed on here. <laughs> oh, that's right. So again, uh, it'll be just like last week and the week before. Drake is going to sit for two half-hour sessions in this position, and then once those two half-hour sessions are done, we will actually turn off the live stream for a few minutes and then we will turn it back on for the second to pose for the last two sessions um, and you will have the option to stay and use the, you know, just uh, draw the one pose draw, stay with the first pose or come back to the, the live stream on the second pose and hang out with us for the second hour um, it's up to you. We won't take it personally <laughs> if you decide to stay with the first one. And, um, and and obviously, when we shut down the first one, it'll disappear for a little bit because it's no longer be it won't will no longer be live, mm -hmm. but it'll come back up shortly after. Probably yeah. by the time your break's over, it'll be back up, and it'll be the recorded session, which allows you to rewind it and play those this first pose back if you'd like. Exactly. Exactly. I better sign um, on here, huh? And I'm going to jump on the actual Tuesday at 7 group because... Guys, we're hoping you're part of the Tuesday at 7 Facebook group. Mm -hmm. That's probably where we're spending a good deal of time chatting. That's where a lot of folks are posting photos. And we encourage you to do that now. If you're not part of the Facebook group right now, if you put in a quick... Just jump on there. A quick request for membership it just I have to press a button it just approves all essentially and uh, it's it's a it's a group that we're allowing everybody who's interested in joining to join for some reason uh, things get too big at some point maybe it, maybe we'll figure that out but right now everyone's in you guys saw what we were doing we're actually Drake is sitting in the foyer so if you were to walk through our front door or you're an Amazon delivery person and you walked up to the door you'd be looking right at Drake's uh, not straight on but right at this uh, the right hand side of uh, mm -hmm. the frame and then Beth and I are sitting we're actually kind of looking at Drake in the face and we're sitting in the dining room with our both of us have different laptops open there's a bunch of equipment in front of us and Drake. <laughs> there it is. We'll have to take you have to take a photo of our setup here because that's not something that we've done yet. Beth? Uh, we did. Have we? I did once, I think, but I don't know that I posted it, so let's, I will. Let's, I will let's take that. it and post yes, that. Absolutely, and actually, it'll be easier with the sun with the light shining out. in tonight. Sorry, I'm just kind of double checking. I have a couple people that are having trouble getting in, so I am. Um, listening to you, but I'm not multitasking very well. <laughs> um, we have a great amount of people already in here. It's so exciting. And um, we, we do have a lot of kids. Uh, we have, <laughs> Roger and I have four kids. We have a blended family. We each brought two kids into our marriage. And then we have- How many years ago is that one? 13 years <laughs> it was 13 years ago we're laughing because I know how long it's been I have trouble with numbers 
but thank you for making sure to bring that up. Um, and then we have Adam and Luke living with us. So that was kind of why when this began, that you know it worked out well for us because we could provide you guys for you know two months worth of, of models and then we selfishly end up with two months worth of this incredible artwork of our family that is going to be you know our treasure for the rest of our lives and so you're stuck with a whole bunch of millers and um, we completely get the benefit of meeting all of these amazing artists and, and getting all this artwork of all these people. So, uh, yep, there's a lot of Millers out there. <laughs> there's more than you'd think, too. There, I mean... Yeah. Yes. We're, uh, we're a, a large family. A large family, a hairy family. <laughs> What was I was going to do something before you asked me that. You were going to take a photo this. of where we oh, were thank sitting. You. Yes. How did I know that? Because you're the one that asked me to do it. <laughs> that or it's my male intuition. Uh, our, our dining room is a mess, but a, a wonderful mess because it's all art oriented. So it's. Uh, it's no, can you go this way? Well, yeah, I was just. Oh, you're just looking? I wasn't sure if. see what was going to go with where. We see folks joining in. There are some shares. There's a whole bunch of comments. Thank you, guys. Let's see. Larry, good to see you. Of course, Vicki, we know you're there because Beth responded to your, your comment or your question. Jennifer New Year, hey, good evening. Bob Pauly from Cincinnati. And a family member of his is jumping in too oh which is very exciting you can see my profile photo everybody's loving it Bob I have to figure out where how to share this from my phone to a group there we go Tuesday at 7 and Debbie we're glad you joined us we hope that you have are, what are you using tonight Debbie are you using pastels There was, there was six months that I was doing some drawing bath mm -hmm. and I was using oil pastels, mm -hmm. but they, and, and part of the challenge, and what I was trying to do is I was trying to break away, from, I was working pretty tight and small at the time, I was using, sharpening down pencils and, and, and such, and what I did is I started drawing with, they're called Chubby, they're the uh, Chubby brand, do you remember that? I, well, I remember you talking about them. I don't know that at the time I realized that that was the brand name. I just assumed it was because they were big fat. Big fat. Um, well, if if you folks have ever used chubby oil pastels, it's it, I'd be surprised. Maybe if you're an elementary art teacher, <laughs> you know what chubby oil pastels look like because they look like giant kindergarten crayons. Actually, they're bigger than that. But what I was trying to do is I was just trying to uh, work big and drop down color and uh, so everybody I just realized by taking a photo everybody gets to see um, that Drake is all business on the top and party on the bottom mm -hmm. and then his uh, pajama pants so <laughs> surprise good thing to take a picture of uh, when I was sitting there I was wearing pants I was going to say why I don't know. It's kind of funny to, to imagine posing without pants on. I'm just... Um, all these... The newscasters and people doing their thing. All right. Folks, has anybody Zoomed or had a meeting in the last six or eight weeks that uh, you were not wearing pants? That's a good question, mm -hmm. right? Maybe. <laughs> oh, shoot. Thanks, Debbie. Oh, she's got an easel? Yeah, she said she set it up, which is cool. 
So I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't reveal. So Debbie is um, she's drawing from her husband's profile. So when you see Jim, that's actually Debbie who's who's doing that work. So mm -hmm. her wonderful work and her journey. She just started with us mm -hmm. five or six weeks ago. She's doing a great job. Thank you for being there, Susan. Thank you for stopping over and dropping off all that wonderful work this week. It was phenomenal, and folks are starting to see we're doing a little bit of organizing here between all of our busyness, and we're starting to put some artist work side by side by side and showing two, three pieces. Mm -hmm. And I love that. And so keep an eye out. Maybe once a, uh, a few times a week, we'll show several pieces by different or several pieces by the same artist of different family members. Oh, yes. Absolutely. You kind of giggled. Was there something funny? Uh, Nancy said the question about uh, pants was a boy question. And for the most part, I would agree with that. I don't think there's too many women that are going to like not wear pants during a meeting. We might have sweatpants or pajama pants or something like that, but I don't know that there's too many that are going to like sit around in our boxers with our suit jacket. I think that you're absolutely right. That is certainly a boy question. And it came from a boy. <laughs> I, I would, I might be guilty. Maybe. I do Zoom meetings on Saturday morning and um, I don't well, know if any true. of those artists and I, I can, would very feel very comfortable walking down there in a in a pair of shorts. Yeah. We got uh, nineteen minutes left in this first session, and again, it is a sunny um, evening, which for which I'm super grateful, but it does make our job a little bit harder as far as the light shift uh, when it occurs as the sun begins to set. So there there may be some uh, shade difference, some light difference. Um, although my hope is that as it's going down, this first pose, the light won't change too much. And then by the time we take the break and move to the second pose in the second two half hours, maybe that'll be when the light shift is really noticeable and it won't matter because it's a new pose anyway. So Who maybe knows? that won't be too impactful. Won't mess anybody up. As we reviewed last week, last week Facebook kicked us off in the second pose. Oh yeah, that was... Yeah, so that stunk. Frustrating. Oh, did you post that photo, by the way? Of... I did. Thank you for posting that. Mm -hmm. The so last week I was fully expecting a call from Tim and maybe getting fired because we were <laughs> we were a bit rascally last week during well, we while Adam silly. was sitting there. Yeah, I can't believe you had this. Silly. I want you to spill that like Tim did a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, no, it's really the straw that I'm worried about. No, Deb says she's mostly in pajamas. I think that's legit. I. We'll show off my, my new t-shirt that I bought myself. This is part of my... Um, oh, is that my, uh, the CLE clothing? Where no. Where did it come from? This one is not CLE clothing, although I do love CLE clothing stuff. This is from Mistakes on the Lake, which was a Facebook page, and then they started making t-shirts, and I think they have some other stuff, too. I don't know, like... Um, I just found them through Facebook because they're constantly posting amazing, sad browns memes. Um, and uh, so I, I had to buy this t-shirt. This will be my souvenir from COVID-19. So. You have to describe it because you're talking about well, it. I'm but just going to show it Are off, you going to show it's it? A, it's a, oh, you it's know, no, 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 no. Don't, don't give it up. you got to show okay. it off. <laughs> and, and Nancy, um, oh, before we get to Nancy's comment, because it's, it's, it's a great one. Marla? John, it's glad to see that, glad to see that you guys have joined us. And uh, Nancy, th that is a good point. Those who are watching live know what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, there, well, and, and go ahead. that was. Um, I don't know what this means. The, the Nancy's. <laughs> we were going to be more serious this evening. <laughs> Can you help me understand what this means? So Nancy's. Um, comment about uh, 
whether or not we are supporting the girls strictly at home. Uh, wasn't that the Holderness Family Channel? Wasn't that one of their videos about? Oh yeah, it, I well, think? yeah. Once so, the bra comes off, the evening is over. Well, the going out is over. Like we're not putting it back on. Once once we take the bra off, we're not putting it back on for. You have to have something really, really, really good to make us put it back on and leave the house again. But that's what hoodies were made for. So. Um, good point, Nancy. Yep. That begs a different question from wearing pants. <laughs> but I'm not going to ask the question because it's too expected. You are so funny. Oh my gosh. Hi, Sean. Sean Kenst. Nice of Sh you to check in. Hey, Sean. You know it's funny. You. I'm glad that you're here. Hopefully you're drawing because I know you've got mad skills. Well, I'm assuming he's in because he liked... I'm assuming his, he liked the photo of our setup that I posted into the Tuesday at 7 group. Why so don't I, would I assume see that? that means, I don't know. You know maybe and there's gotta, 42 maybe people watch. watching right now. Um, thank you all very, very much for checking in. Hopefully, you're all drawing or painting or sketching. Um, some of you may just be here to admire our handsome family and listen to me and Roger ramble on. And some of our stuff is gonna be silly and some of it is interesting and might touch serious here and there. Um, again, this is the Tuesday at seven live stream, working in conjunction with the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists. Um, this came about because Roger had the, um, the fun and the honor to interview Tim Heron and one of his Tuesday at 7 live streams and Tim talked about the pretentious Cleveland portrait artist which had been meeting in person on Friday nights to do a portrait session for the last 15 years and when the shutdown order hit that also meant or stay at home order hit that also meant that the portrait artists couldn't meet and that tradition would have been stopped and so Roger and Tim talked and we volunteered to see if it was workable to try and do it via this live stream and it's working and it's working way better than we thought it was going to and we are just thrilled that not only have we been able to help the the, the Cleveland pretentious pretentious Cleveland portrait artist group, like that core group, but also this has been shared out and we've got people from all over the country and internationally joining in and participating and, and kind of joining in both the Tuesday at 7 community and getting to know Tim's community and the portrait artist's community and just really opening it up for some, um, some good friendships and some inspiration. And so we will keep doing this um, as long as we have to. And then I know that Tim has said that they're hoping to, that, that when they're able to start doing live sessions again in person, that they're going to have a camera or a phone or something set up so that you'll still be able to access that model and that group. Um, on Friday nights and you'll still be able to sketch paint um, chalk whatever sculpt we haven't seen any sculptures yet um, sculpt along with the pretentious Cleveland portrait artists every Friday night and join in the tradition and keep it going for another 15 years and then at the same time we uh, still have a Tuesday at 7 going on Tuesdays at 7 uh, you can find those uh, through Roger's Facebook page, my Facebook page, or the Tuesday at 7 Facebook group. And uh, we have an, a, a really interesting interview coming up this Tuesday. We I do. I don't know if you want to... Not yet. No. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a good one. I, I like it because you're doing a good job of um, keeping the diversity, although I'm so sick of that word, 
but the, the diversity of genre in, in who you're interviewing continues to be really wide, so you're not getting locked into one thing or another. So I think this will be a good one to create some good conversation and to have some I kind of just kind of eye opening opportunities. So I think this is gonna be a good interview. There's about ten minutes left in mm -hmm. this first session. And so we are interested to see what your creative space looks like. If you're drawing from a studio, we have a studio and it's the biggest room in our house, but it is packed. And so our setup, we're actually drawing from our uh, front foyer, as you guys saw. Yeah, in the dining room. Um, Denny, am I saying that right? Denny Zaganti says her friend Daniel is joining from Portland. Oh. Oregon. Initially, I thought it said Poland. What, what, wait a minute. Excited, but Portland is... For some reason, you get you get the scrolling stuff way more so than I do. But you said Daniel? Daniel is the, the one joining. He's joining us. So, Daniel, if you're there... Uh, yeah, thanks for joining Thanks us. for joining. Um, Denny, Dini, Denny, um, is Zaganti, is um, the artist who oh, she uh, always does on the purple or the, the oh. colored paper. And she does just those minimal drawings but they're so impactful and yeah. her color usage on top of the colored paper is absolutely gorgeous um let's see so do you i maybe you have yours minimized do you i'm gonna, I'm gonna click in? off and click back in oh no you don't have to do that there should be a little icon down at the bottom that looks like a little text box down here all right hold if on you click that and see if maybe you have your comments and reactions hidden I'll do that. But I get completely sidetracked. Sean, if you're still out there. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. What was uh, fed on my Facebook page was a memory. And I don't even know how, maybe you shared it. It was, uh, you guys did the the plunge. I don't know what it was called, the polar plunge or whatever uh, it was. Uh, I think it is. For like Buckeye Lake, yeah. whatever it was. Yep. But I, I saw the three of you go in and, and come out pretty fast. But I always like, laugh at that. January, February? When did they do uh, that? I don't know. Um, yeah, it was, was Kelly and Sean and I think two other guys in their group along with all the rest of the people. Yeah, there were and there were three people. So. Yeah, it looks atrocious. Hello? No, oh, um, I don't know, but yeah, I can kind of, s yeah, I can do that, absolutely. Oh, is it okay now? Uh, maybe it just said, okay, okay, all right, bye. I think what happens is sometimes our cameras do like an auto zoom or an auto correct, and it, it does because I would notice when I shoot live sometimes it does this, ooh wah wee it does wah do like that. the uh, little rascal's cake, like the birthday cake, wee wah. Oh, where it's wee wah, yeah, it comes yeah. in and out like it's inside of a bubble. Yep. Oh, I see some comments. I don't know why I wasn't seeing them before. Did you click on the? Whether you had hidden them accidentally? Uh, no. no. I don't know. But uh, Sarah, glad to see you're here. And she's uh, she's not local here. David Heller, of course. Yeah, yours does look My setup is different. Than mine. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm on... Did you upgrade to the new Facebook? No, I don't want to mess up my... That's what the difference is. Did you, and you upgraded to it? Yeah, I did that when it first came out because I just didn't want to deal with it. Um, oh, Michelle Janet's here, seven. Sherry. Mm -hmm. Oh, Michelle um, is uh, and her daughter are the niece and great niece of Bob Pauley, who's in Cincinnati, and they're in Kentucky, right over the river from Cincinnati. Is that right around? Uh, was that Louisville? That's right over the river there, Louisville, Kentucky. I don't know, but we crossed area. over into Kentucky on the Bourbon Trail. Yeah. And she says she teaches high school art, but used to teach elementary, and she totally knows the chubby oil pastels. The chubby oil pastels? Yep. Thank you, Michelle. You know what we also did is uh, been known to shave off, to shave those pastels and, mm -hmm. and uh, mix them into like an oil paint. Oh. And paint with them. 
Oh, that makes sense. That's kind of cool. Yeah. We're at just over six minutes left in this first session. And um, there's still 41 people. And again, you can share this to a friend. You can share it to another group. You can create a watch party. Um, you know, if you have anyone that sees it and three days from now, they can click into it and just decide that they want to do it. Uh, again, we're going to be doing two poses, uh, two half hours for the first pose and then two half hours for the second pose. So there will be a break in between the first pose and the second pose. Um, I will post this on the Tuesday at 7 group to be read also because I know um, people may be turning this off and have music playing in the background so I don't want them to miss it. Um, so if we turn off for more than a couple moments it's at that time in the break and we'll turn it back on. Drake will be in the new pose and we'll keep going live for the second pose for the second how hour but if you want to continue working on the first pose then you can go back in click on the first video and re-watch it with the sound off or you could pause it whatever works best for you yeah the the, the light is gonna that sun's going down faster than i thought it was going to so the light between the first and the second half hour will be a little different actually i think probably mo i don't know but i would imagine that people are probably dropping the color specifics in that mm. second that's true that second sit anyways i'm assuming i don't know i hope everybody had a good week i know it's been interesting i, I think probably this is kind of the the seven week itch <laughs> that we were all like as things started out we're all, okay, we're, we're going to do this, and then you start getting into a bit of a routine, and then you realize maybe you don't necessarily like the routine that you've been getting into, and so, and as the weather is starting to shift to almost being good, consistent weather, I think a little bit of doldrums has, has kicked in a teens for everybody, but hopefully... Um, things perk back up again and uh, the the nice weather is is uh, giving the opportunities even if it's just get outside and go for a walk or do a little gardening I know I'm excited if we're gonna get some dirt in the next few days to uh, put in our vegetable garden and then I'm gonna put some beans and carrot seeds in our baby plants aren't ready to go out yet but I'm looking forward to doing that we are coming up to the end of our first sitting. This first 30 minutes went quick for us. Hopefully it went quick for Drake. Yeah, I imagine it went quick for everybody out there drawing as well. We've got a lot of folks that have joined. Thank you, thank you, thank you for spending your Fridays with us. Mm -hmm. We hope that in just a few weeks, nobody will be, nobody will be sitting in their house on a Friday night, that you'll come back and, and watch, the, uh, watch the sitting later and draw. I don't know, yeah, but uh, exactly. until then, I guess we're connecting weirdly here on a live stream and kind of chatting as if we were together. Exactly. Oops. Drake, that alarm's going to go off. When it goes off, just sit tight. Don't move, okay? I'm just going to uh, tape where your feet are at because it's going to be easier for you to just kind of click back in. I would say yeah, that... Two minutes exactly. We are about neck and neck. I would say him and Caitlin. For what? For being still? Like, I'm like, I think I'm yeah. paused. <laughs> like, I think, I think I'm frozen. And then I see him blink. And so he's, he's sitting pretty still. He is pretty still. I like it. Eileen. Bob, are you just joining in for the first time? Or do you click off and click back in? Because on my screen it says, Bob Polly joined. No, he's been here. He's been here? Okay. We're but glad y'all are a, here. We're just as appreciative as we were when we first clicked in. And we have people from all over the country joining us. Mm -hmm. All over the uh, state of Ohio, 
we have some international artists join us. Yeah, that's very exciting. This has certainly expanded our our artist access, which I like, and all these different styles. It, it, it has exceeded, like if I had kind of thought about what we were going to be seeing and um, the, the different styles and the artwork and, and perspectives, I, you know, I was very excited about doing this, but this has definitely been beyond anything that um, I uh, expected. Bob says his screen went black and he had to read Oh, it. that's why you pop back up. We're down to 20 seconds. So folks who are new here, what we're going to do is Drake's going to get up and we're going to take a 15 minute break. It allows you as artists to go refill your beverage, to uh, uh, get another bowl of kettle chips, and also to stretch your feet. All right, stay, stay put. There we go. Um, All right. I'm interested interested in how they were these for the arms over here. If you have an idea about where your arms are at, and kind of where I pretty much am on the tape. So. And think about right where there. your butt's sitting at too, because that yeah, helps. I'm not really sitting straight because that'd be a problem. All right, you get good. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, every time you like, show good posture, yeah. you put yourself right out of the screen. You go I have it. I have it lined up. One sticking out, so I know where to go. Awesome, yeah. that's perfect. Thank you, Drake. Yes. So yeah, I do have the both fortune and misfortune of being the shortest one in the in the family, except for Rowan is, is shorter than I am. So when I'm thinking about stuff, I what I do for my 5'5 five five self is slightly different than all of the over six footers that I live with because... The Jay bad thing about having a six foot family, like all the guys are over six foot, mm -hmm. and, then, and we go from six to six five, yeah. Ish. Ish. Yeah. And uh, so, anybody anybody who wants to draw that chair, you got to draw really fast because Beth is sitting down. <laughs> the problem is though, with the, the every <laughs> sitting, the, the the phone gets closer and closer to the thing. So I have to show off. I, can you see my? Wait, I'll have to, I'm looking at the. There's you have a to, lot of lag. You're gonna have to stand up. Okay. I don't know if you. So I bought myself this shirt. Can you see it? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like, like I buy a shirt. So it says. Well, wine, you no, wine yeah, you, wine. you you are gonna have to stand up. <laughs> it's complete boob shot. I'm just saying. I'm just calling like it is. All right, I'll I'll do it at some point. So I'll, take, so I'll take a selfie and I'll post it on the. the yeah. So well, express it because we can see half of it. Yeah, but it's, it says wine with Dewine, and it has a picture of of Governor Dewine, and it says with some wine glasses and it says it's two o'clock somewhere. So I had to get myself a COVID-19 souvenir. I don't know, if you're outside of Ohio, then um, go, our governor uh, has a two o'clock press Update, conference right? every day. And this is, I mean, it has been every day since the pandemic was declared a pandemic. And then Ohio did the, the stay at home order, which we were ahead of a few other states. And so um, Governor DeWine has just, there, there were a few where he even did it seven days in a row and even did a press conference on Sundays. But the hashtag wine with DeWine became a thing pretty rapidly. And so. Did you say at the very bottom it says it's two o'clock somewhere? Yeah. Because that's when he always does his press conference. And then they're also, so our head of the Department of, Ohio Department of Health is Dr. Amy Acton, and now there's a bunch of Amy Acton fan clubs. So that was, plus it's actually, it's a nice quality shirt. So it's very soft and good material. So I was pretty pleased with that. Guys, I am seeing a pixelated, that autocorrects, I just know because we've been doing this for, for many, I'm sorry? Is it? Because I'm moving. No, it's just because uh, we got a we got a short like interruption and then it pixelates and then it auto corrects and so we know that that's that's happening. We see Susan. 
Get close. Lisa, Jane, Susie, Sebastian, mm. Susie Reed, high school. She's a little bit, uh, a little bit younger than us. Oh, I didn't realize this. Yeah. Or I forgot that she was from Independence. What was it? What was it? That's cool. Oh, yeah. Sarah had. Did you, you don't read that comment? Was did, did I? I didn't read it out loud. I oh, didn't okay. see it. You guys might have seen. If, if not, uh, Sarah Lane said that uh, yeah, she is out of town, but the reason she's here is because she grew up 18 years in Cleveland, and her dad said that if she really wanted to learn to draw, she needed to check out the uh, pretentious Cleveland portrait artists, and that they are the best. And this is how. Uh, uh, and she's found this to be true here. We agree. This is this is phenomenal. Absolutely. Um, Tim has know. gathered an amazing group of of artists together. Gathered, Let's, attracted. I mean, it's just quite a, quite a good group. Thank goodness. Bowie is very antsy tonight. Let's show. Uh, this, there's a lot of artwork. Let's just show a couple of photos or. Some work of Dave King. Yeah. So Dave King, we just got these this week, um, and these are on oil on wood. Oil on wood. So here's Luke and Delaney, and I want to thank you and Rowan. Thank you, Dave, if you're live right now. Just. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely stunning. So. And it's uh, it's weird because we see the images of the work, mm -hmm. and we're amazed, and it's just amazing. It and then they come, then they, then some of them arrive, and if they arrive, that's that's a double bonus. And when they arrive, then it's super cool because it's a whole different feel yep. like you guys you guys know my work is kind of haptic and everybody when they it's see an huge. image of it they're probably like well it's huge yeah so i work <laughs> so i don't even know that you can see can that see it's so big the camera, I know, the yeah you may have to yeah so i work so super big but to see it the, the size oh yeah and in person is such a, a treat for us and we were talking today, I and mean, we would we would love to try and figure out some kind of um, exhibit that shows all of the artwork from this COVID um, shutdown for the art that's been created for this to see, so that people could see all of the art around each model and and the amazing um, just collaboration that has been occurring through all of this and so that every artist has the opportunity to shine because you're all doing amazing work it's just it's been stunning I absolutely love it so um, we've got five minutes ish for for the break and uh, we appreciate best sitting down so it's just not a a blank wall Although I did still love the painting last, the quick watercolor of my chair last week that made me happy, or the chair top that made me happy. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. I drank some coffee. I was hoping that would prevent any yawning from occurring. All right. So as we are here on break, as uh, as folks are moving around, maybe. Mm-hmm. We'd love to see what your work looks like here at the end. Uh, there's a there's a number of newer artists that join, mm -hmm. and as a matter of fact, uh, I don't know if anybody checks it out or even if it's if the the data is available. But there's like 300 people who watch this each week. Nice. And this is not who watch on on YouTube. We upload them to YouTube, although I've been this is I've just been behind. Facebook. Yeah, but on Facebook we have about 300 people who watch. That's great. Um, of the 300 people who watch, we know that people click. Uh, we know that a good portion of those are watching over an extended period of time. So it's mm -hmm. not click in, get back out. There's people who are there long enough to be drawing. Right. And I think they're just drawing quietly and they're not commenting and they're learning. 
I think they're using your in-process work and your comments to understand a little bit more. And so we appreciate that. So take a picture of your work if you would. Yeah. Uh, just attach it here. And if you take a picture of your workspace, that's great. Let us know what you're working on or the medium that you're using. Mm -hmm. And then in, uh, in, in less than five minutes, we'll Get Drake back in that chair, and we'll yep. do the second, uh, the second sit yep. for pose one. Absolutely, that'll be good. But he's sitting over here, just doing his thing on the carpet, trying to figure out what's going on. Do we have an electronic scale? Yes. For what? For a person. It's for Luke's thing. Oh, for the like postage. No. Is there an app for that? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's an app for everything else. We could put you on our regular scale and weigh you, and then we could put you back on again and have, have you hold your phone. Convert. <laughs> I was trying to think if I had a kitchen scale, but I don't think I do. We have that little oh, there's physical one. The one that's down in the art studio. It's in the studio. That was that was used to measure um, stuff for foam latex. Do you need the weight? Okay. So I don't know if that's... It'll give you a rough. Yeah, it'll give you a, a, a pretty good amount. So. so we hope that folks are starting to get outside. The weather is nicer. We also hope that um, maybe some folks are getting back to work a little bit here on May 1st today? I mean, it was first... Well, health, health today was uh, health care, like doctor's offices, dentists, the, the non-emergency medical care could be reinstituted. And then Monday, I believe, is offices, um, distribution, warehouses, and then couple of days after that is like restaurants and retail and then I think there was one more after that just kind of phasing it out as you know so yeah well everybody will just keep being flexible and working with the circumstances and then we'll keep being flexible as it changes again <laughs> All right, Beth, we're ready to put Drake back in the, yep. in the chair. Drake, you ready? Hop yep. to it. Got two minutes to kind of click in. Did you do it by the corners like that? Yeah, those, yeah, your feet were, yeah, that's I don't exactly right. That. Yeah, just bring your foot, your foot, this is on the outside. Walk my feet aren't gonna make too much of a difference. Yeah. How does it does it feel like your your butt's back in that chair? And I feel like I'm in about the same spot I was last time, but I mean, I, was, I also don't have the screen, so I have no clue. Yeah, so go ahead and uh, focus in where you were focused before, and we're gonna get a an opportunity just to double check to make sure that it looks uh, looks the same. My feet is getting interrupted. If it uh, if it gets interrupted, you guys kind of stick tight because what I'm what I'm noticing is that we may be freezing and then unfreezing here. Um, it hasn't kicked us off yet, and we're not seeing those. Is that our connection? Or yeah, is that... it's our internet's trash. Okay. <laughs> it's just bad. Did you hear that, AT and T? Our internet is trash. <laughs> Is he, is he sitting a little higher than he was before? I don't... Uh, I'm looking... I, I have so. a bit of that frame in comparison to the sticky note thing, and mm -hmm. it's exactly where I was No, I'm not saying it's your eyes. I'm saying, is, uh, are you scoot... Are, I mean, we could put it... I, I don't know. So, so, Tim, give us a call. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Don't move the camera. We'll, we'll scoot him all up or down. I just, I'm just thinking that maybe he is... Uh, sitting up straighter? Yeah. That the way. I, I mean, no, you have to. D it don't looks move. Very similar to me, but 
We're gonna do a quick. Uh, Can you just go back in the stream and take a screenshot, overlap, or look that way? Probably. Or is there not a way to go back in a live? I don't know anything about Facebook Live. I think we're. I think we're good. You're um, blocking my judge. Your your shoulder. All right. So just just focus in. So Drake was focusing in on the picture. On the picture behind me. Okay. And I was blocking his, his photo. Okay. Can we make Adam and Luke get off the internet? Will that help? I don't know what they're doing, but I mean you can try. Would that I mean like Yeah, I mean it if it's bandwidth then yeah. Yeah. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I don't either. I mean it may not be if they're just they're streaming you know, Netflix or something, it's gonna make yeah. a difference. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, can you give Tim a quick call just to see if it if it looks good? All right, Drake, hold hold, hold the pose. Mm -hmm. Hello, how does that look? Looks good. Okay, so it looks all right. Okay, so it's not going up at them. Okay, all right, sounds good, bye-bye. He said maybe we can raise it up next one just because it is angled up at his face more, but he said for right now it looks great. Good, all right. So. All right, we're setting the alarm for the 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Now. And we're off. I'll post a picture of my... Oh, your shirt? Mm -hmm. Wine with the wine. <laughs> we were listening to Johnny Cash as things started. We turn off the music because sometimes... If you upload to Facebook, I'm sorry, upload to YouTube, especially they get a, a little a little weird at times. If you're playing music that's owned by others, and so we just mm -hmm. go silent. And we're not huge chatters normally, but we chat quite a bit here. And for those who are joining, you could just turn that sound off too, yeah. and turn up your own music, or you could just listen to us chat, turn us down, maybe and turn your music up. Mm -hmm. We're interested in what you're listening to, what your studio looks like, um, your comments we love. Have you read any good books during this week? I definitely like uh, getting new book recommendations. If anybody has been taking advantage of this for reading. All right, everything looks like we're doing okay. Hmm. Looks like the feed's doing all right for the moment, so that's good. And the sun is going down super fast. You can see that the one side of his face way better. Yeah, it's as we're looking nice. at him. If you're looking at the the uh, the right side of of our frame, it uh, you're starting to see his his face. And that's good news. Thank you, Lewis. Lewis Grasso posted his first, looks like uh, pastel. He says pastels don't play well with computers. Someone else had asked about that earlier because of the dust and oh. just having it on your hand and everything. So, which makes sense. There's quite a bit of pastel work. I think because yes. you can really lay down color efficiently and fast. And we love that. And leaves such a nice room for what colors. I'm, I, I think that's one thing I've enjoyed the most is um, the colors that everybody used together uh, for in, in replace of skin tones or to show the light. It's um, 
it, it, it's been really, really cool to see. Because again, as a beginner, I, I haven't even attempted color with any of my sketches yet. And it, it gives me a lot of um, inspiration and, and just kind of ideas in the back of my mind when I finally take the opportunity. <laughs> and on the picture that I posted of, of the dining room, Jane Hammond said, thanks for the reality check. <laughs> Yeah, we do not have a professional setup here necessarily. It's just <laughs> our dining room. <laughs> and uh, we, we try to make it look as professional as possible. You'll see this week I do not have my kettle chips by the microphone. <laughs> That's true, for which we are all grateful. <laughs> the night is young, sweetheart. The night is young. I don't have any kettle chips right now because you didn't go to Costco. <laughs> The reason I go to, didn't go to Costco is I don't want to be forced to wear a face mask. <laughs> you are such a... Ignore that he said that. You are such an instigator. We are not going to start that debate. Uh, we're, we're here for peace and love and art. <laughs> not for your... <laughs> we're so bad. <laughs> we're, yes, we are, we are not polling for opinions on what has been we're not. instituted or not. <laughs> Tim, Brian, are we fired? <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well there down in Tremont. You guys are not at all pretentious. You're actually very mm -hmm. accepting of our antics. But... If they're listening to them. Oh, yeah, he's probably listening to Ramones. Some, something. Yeah. He's probably... Uh, yeah, yeah you, you you guys are having fun down there. You're not listening to us, but you should be because we're fabulous. <laughs> Isn't that a little pretentious of you? <laughs> I'm, I'm just making sure the collaboration the is good. <gasps> Ethan, hello, Ethan Pelagalli, a good good friend of Drake's for years. Oh my gosh, those two are troublemakers together. I know. But they were adorable troublemakers together. He showed up with, uh, so Drake's got a Corvette, and Ethan shows up, and I don't know if it's his or, but he shows up, I think it was a Mustang. I think so. so you guys can't get out and start racing those things. No way. But, but back to Costco, because I'm not done with Costco yet. Oh, okay. Um, I don't go to Costco, but we're kind of running low on things. And so I might have to make another Costco run. It's been like a week. I know. But the, the, the point is, is, is this, is that um, I don't really have an issue wearing a mask. And, and I have a, a mask in my car, and, and I'll put it on. But the funny part is this, is this week I, uh, I ordered online. It's going to take a little time to come in. Did you order a mask? Two. But what oh, I you or did tell me this. I uh, yeah, I, I was talking to you when I was ordering that. But it's one of those... Like biker ones, so it it, it goes around your ears, mm -hmm. and it comes down it and it wraps it like, behind. It's yeah, it's like a dust. I don't even know like what. A towel, maybe almost. There's a name for it. I'd have to look it up. But for those of you who are bikers, you know because a lot of a lot mm -hmm. of motorcycle riders, and I even think bicyclists will ride it to keep dust and bugs out of your face. Mm -hmm. But since we we ride a lot of the towpath. That and we ride a lot at dusk, and you get pelted by all those, those gnats yes. at dusk. So I'm like, I'm going to buy that because it'll serve my purpose now, yeah. serve our purpose now, and then we can use it to ride this summer and Yeah, because and such. that is the thing when going down that river by the, next to the canal and the river and those swarms. So and so I what we do is, is we uh, <laughs> we ride down to... We usually drop off in Brex, or we come, we we ride down to Brexville, and we get there near that uh, the train pickup. That's where we, where we, and we yeah. cross over that that Brexville Bridge right there, where two seventy one crosses mm -hmm. the valley, and then we ride down a peninsula, and then we usually go to peninsula. We order some food, and usually we sit there a little bit longer than we should, and so we're like, oh, we're starting to lose some daylight. We've got a half hour ride home and so we ride back at dusk. We ride back at dusk all the time. Which is lovely and, and Well, you weren't describing it very lovely because you were saying I get pelted by bugs and... Well, the rest, other than the inhaling 
swarms of gnats, the rest of it is absolutely lovely because the dusk brings more animals and sounds and the water looks better and it's, I mean, the, the towpath is beautiful no matter what time of day it is. I, I love hearing the frogs. That's one of my favorite yes. things down in those yes, wetlands. That's true. But I also, I think it might have been Drake. We were riding home at dusk, and it was like after dark. We probably should have had head, headlamps or something. And there was a big animal that crossed the path. It, it was not a deer. It was a big animal. I don't know what it was. Coyote. It could, it could have been a I big thought, coyote, big coyote, or or, or some kind of cat. Uh, yeah. Not 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 a house cat. Yeah. Like a, a wild cat or something. Mm-hmm. But we that. just kept riding. But it was something that felt a little bit out of the ordinary. It was not Bigfoot or a Yeti, but it was it was what a it was a large cats, animal. What do we have? In, what are what big cats are native to Ohio? Do we have? I don't know. I mean, sometimes they come through come over from Pennsylvania, I think, and we'll get a wild cat or something here. That's true. That's and uh, and if some if you've got any private, because on occasion you'll get a a big cat come out of somebody's private. Collection. collection, you know, so if, I, if we got any tire kings here in, in Ohio, <laughs> so they get loose and they run around for a while. Well, I'd rather a big cat than an alligator. We got bears here. I've never seen a bear in the like in Ohio. I've seen bears in Pennsylvania and I see bears in, in the Virginias, mm-hmm. but not in Ohio. They're here, but I've just never seen one. No, I don't, I've never seen one either. I mean, I think the only time I've got to see one was when we were in West Virginia and when we were on the mission trip in West Virginia and we were driving was that on 77 mm-hmm. or, and we saw it scaling the, the cliff wall or the mountain that, that was a pretty I think that's the only time I've ever seen like live seen one um, I don't remember ever seeing one spent a lot of time in Pennsylvania but I don't think I ever saw one in Pennsylvania I saw a lot of bears up in Canada up there fishing and oh yes I forgot about of course we got the Ohio Bobcats from Ohio U um (laughs) Michelle says Bobcats and mountain lions out near the rural areas out east now is that in Kentucky though or Ohio although if they're in Kentucky then they'd be in Ohio. I mean, that's yeah. although it's a bit more mountainous. You have to swim once you start getting in Kentucky, because they've got the well, they probably swim. They might not like it, but I bet they can swim. But Kentucky has more mining. I'm smiling so in, in case. <laughs> I know I'm saying that in case uh, the other people, these great artists are. They get to listen to how you listen, listen, listen to my smile, loving relationship. I proposed to you in that. National Park. You did, right by where the eagle nests are in the Brecksville Reservation. There you go. That's true. We're, we're deep, deeply connected to those yeah. metro parks. We, spent, we love it down there. We have spent a lot of time on that towpath and taking the kids through the various creeks and parks and oh, the so muddy puddles. Somehow we got all off on this tangent. That the the, the point was how. this. <laughs> all right. So if you guys have been listening, here's uh, here we're circling back. So I ordered those two masks. Oh yeah. Which were the dust protectors as well as a mask and uh, and I reached out to um, I reached out to phenomenal artist Matt Seal. Oh, yes. And yes. he's going to airbrush my face on top of the mask. That's nice. So you'll have your beard on top of the... On top of the, on top of the, the black mask. And so yeah. he's so he's going to airbrush my, my big fat... What color? Is it black? Is so black I ordered a black mask. So is he going to do just white? So you'll have your, your beard... He's going to do my nose because, of course, it goes over my nose. So he's going to airbrush my nose. <laughs> and then he's going to airbrush the skin on the side. And then he's going to airbrush the, the rest of it. Oh, it's going to be amazing. So... That's the, that's the the point to the story oh, is uh, so I'm waiting for that to come. All right, artists, you've got your new um, portrait not challenge. A, well, portrait challenge and also creative. So, um, like I know Nancy um, is making masks, but we can get those. Um, you can start making custom painted masks for people. 
That's going to be, gonna be so funny, cool. Though. I totally forgot about that. I think it was late at night when you told me that, and it kind of went in and out. I, I remember... Yeah, that, that's absolutely right. Together. I mean, I was... Are you guys, are you artists evening people? Because we happen to, uh, we happen to uh, be up late. Although I have to be careful about that because I'm not a morning person and being a professional means I kind of have to be a morning person. So I have to curb my late night enthusiasm. Not point, right now, but <laughs> well, the rest of the time. Yeah, the, the point is, is that we do well at night. And that we have to kind of set the uh, set the alarm clocks and, and mm-hmm. get up and op- flip open our laptops and sign on to work there right away. Um, thank you guys, Dan- uh, Daniel Loftus, John. We see your comments there. Michelle said that the the bobcats and the mountain lions are along the Appalachian areas, which totally makes sense. So I wouldn't have thought about it. That that's like um, one of my. We were talking about books earlier, and whenever I think about bobcats or mountain lions, all I can think about is the the book where the red fern grows, and that was my favorite favorite book. And I have, actually maybe I'll reread that. I was trying to come up with some books that maybe I'll reread with this extra time and I have not reread that one in quite a while so I may um, maybe I'll jump on that one oh she's not sewing them oh I did see thank you Nancy I did see that you had actually posted that that the you weren't the one selling sewing the masks but they were your designs on the masks that were being sewn did anybody buy a green screen thank you i don't know he 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 got two of those so but no that so so you guys are so luke who you who everybody drew a few weeks ago (laughs) yes walks around front not through the front door because we're We're right there right by there he walks out the garage door walks around the house and grabs a amazon package off the front that's taller than he is yeah it looks like it's 12 foot long and that's the second one because there was another one almost exactly that size that do you think he's going to surprise me with the green screen (laughs) yeah babe that's totally it (laughs) i think tuesday at seven needs a green screen He spent his hard-earned money to buy Uncle Roger a green screen for Tuesday at seven. <laughs> we put a green screen behind Drake here really fast and and uh, project some wildness behind him. That would be fun. I would like that. Pat, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Oh, I'm way behind on comments. Yeah, you are. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm looking the oldest first. I think. I don't. So this uh, this past Tuesday, we interviewed Jess Adenich. She's a Clevelander who picked up and relocated to Tampa. Not because she's afraid of the cold weather, because she's not, but because she is a saltwater conservationist. She's an artist. She's a designer, phenomenal designer, and uh, and she's also a shark advocate who would think I mean I would think because we know Jess but she's a shark advocate so she talks about conserving apex predators and how the and by how killing apex predators disrupts the whole system now that makes sense when you talk about it but you don't think about it in general right yeah it's kind of the, the opposite of invasive species Mm-hmm. That, you know, when the, the zebra mussels move in, they destroy the environment. And when you remove, even if you don't have an invasive species coming in, but you remove one of the top predators, then that's also going to mess with the environment. But she uh, she is a shark advocate. And she is um, a designer... But the, the, the fun part about it is she was talking about finning and stuff like that, which I didn't really know a whole lot about until we interviewed and uh, enjoyed that, uh, she, that she interview. Interviews so she well interviews and, well. And I, I think a lot of people enjoy this interview anyway, but Jess is just 
she's so motivated and she is such a hard worker and we've known her for a few years and um, are constantly impressed with her but I had forgotten how much she's accomplished until hearing her talk about everything that she's been doing in her professional life in addition to just the creative stuff that she does just because she enjoys it mm -hmm. and so listening to that interview it's like oh my gosh yeah I forgot she was the head of that design um, division for, yeah for Mace and, and, and yeah I mean just so incredible all right how much more time do we have left in this 10 ish 12 11 minutes and 13 seconds all right if you guys are listening after this pose is or after this uh the timer goes off we're going to end this session mm -hmm. we're going to save it so it uploads and then we're going to turn off the camera and we're going to start another session. So it's going to go dark. Just take your break. Yeah. And then we're going to have to sign back on like we like we normally did. And then Beth will save it out to the Tuesday at 7 group. You can catch it from her Facebook page, from my f Facebook page, or from Tim's Facebook page. Mm -hmm. If you're signing off now because you're going to go back to this pose and stick with it, yeah. make sure you send an image. Uh, instant message that to Tim mm -hmm. Heron if you are connected to him on Facebook mm -hmm. or you can email that to him at manlypad at sbcglobal.net right dot net manly m-a-n-l-y pad p-a-d at sbcglobal.net if you've ever been down to the manly pad you know first of all it's Manly, yep. and it is where his studio is at right now down in Tremont. Yep. And where we interviewed from back in on March third, and so that that place is awesome. Yeah, anyway, so that was, a, that was a great evening. But the reason why we want to make sure that you get that image over to Tim is that he catalogs them. He drops mm -hmm. them in as a portrait being done on 5-1 of 2020 in the midst of this coronavirus. And then, like he's got each date in an album and just sets them up and organizes them so nicely so there's no trouble if you know the date and, and the name of the, the model. Mm -hmm. Then you jump right into that album and there it is. And if you were to go back and look at that history you can look at models and drawings from 10 years ago and 14 years ago yep. and the 14 and a half or the 15 years ago because they're there's somewhere between 14 and 15 years of drawing with missing only a couple weeks yeah. two three weeks and I think it was Cleveland weather that canceled it it wasn't it's any other reason yeah to oh. put in the, to save yeah. all of the photographs for that and make sure that they were in the albums so that's terrific that he did that. Hey guys, we are we are sorry. We're seeing a couple comments here that your screen, you know, freezes. What we hope you'll do is kind of draw through it. <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes if it freezes, it'll come back and it'll pixelate for a little bit and then it'll come back. It's just Facebook. It's uh, um, our internet. Uh, our, and our internet, which Drake hates, but we don't really have a choice in the matter. <laughs> AT and T, do you hear us? Fix our, make our internet better. Um, oh, by the way, Drake is a cybersecurity major at Akron U. He's uh, finishing up his junior year. He'll graduate next year, and so yep. if it's our internet, he, he would know. <laughs> he he schools me on many things. I have to ask him, "Is this what's causing this?" And he looks at me and says, "No, <laughs> it's not what's causing it." <laughs> um, so I'm gonna post on the Tuesday at seven. Facebook page, I will tag you and Tim in it just with the, the posted reminder that it, when this is up in seven minutes, the live stream is going to stop. And it'll just be for a couple minutes because we are then going to reset and get Drake into a new pose and then we'll open it back up again so that you'll have a live 
for the second pose and then if you want to stick with the first pose go ahead and click on that first video and you'll have that right back to do all over again um, you can pause it you, excuse me I got the hiccups <laughs> you can pause it or you can just turn the sound off so you don't have to listen to all of our inane comments all over again oh by the way I loved that the last studio shot that was posted down there from the manly pad from Tim's studio was of actually Brian sitting behind an yes. empty chair. I know. I'm glad we got to see Brian so, in action. So I'm assuming that what happened was Brian sat and Tim went and pushed the button and took the photo. I'm assuming that's the case. I mean, it would make sense. It's possible that maybe they set the timer and he sat down and Tim was elsewhere. But I love that. That was a nice, uh, a nice addition. Yeah, Thank you guys for, for sending that over. If you're on the Tuesday at 7 Facebook page, that's the cover photo this week. And that's last week's studio shot down there at the Manly Pad. Yeah, so we had just Ed Niche this past week, and this coming Tuesday, we're uh, actually let's let's go ahead and mention it now in case people sign off and they don't they don't get back on. So we are having a clinical psychologist, Julie Massimo, and we're bringing her along because first of all, she's interesting. <laughs> She is. She's well spoken. Yep. And her unique uh, her unique addition to to our group is going to be kind of talking through mental health because this this strange occurrence is not going to not going to solve off of our game. I think a little bit, and mm -hmm. so we want to make sure that. If there's uh, if anybody's dealing with anything that they know that there's resources out there, but this isn't going to be a, give us a hotline number. This could be a discussion. What to look for in yourself, baby, and loved ones. Um, we're here to surround our creative community with uh, with information, I guess, yeah. right? And and also not just during this time, but because we're again still trying to pull in this wider community so that it's not just about creatives are locked into a particular definition but that mental health and creativity and financials and creativity and nutrition and creativity that that not to make assumptions around what, oh, I'm being creative in this aspect of my life doesn't make sense. And and so I think Julie will have a lot to give in, not just, oh, during the pandemic, but just life in, in general and, and how to be creative in, in your... In a really healthy way. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Anyways, this could be a this could be a fun discussion. And if you saw my interview with Brittany Cermak, she's uh, she was the 2019 Young Dietitian of the Year. Mm -hmm. That was a lively conversation, and it was a fun one. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch that one. But this is going to be a great conversation with uh, Julie as well. We are winding down to our last few minutes. Uh, Beth just gave me Got three minutes. The three fingers. Yep. And again, as we finish out this first sitting, we're going to shut down. We're going to uh, save it, and then we're going to turn it back on, and we'll be back 15 minutes after we shut down. So essentially, we'll be back up by like nine-ish for our second second pose. Mm -hmm. Give or take a few. It'll be a little bit before nine. Well, it'll be a little bit before nine so we can get Drake lined up and be able to start right at nine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll bring that laptop up higher too. And so it'll be less of a worm's eye and more of a, mm -hmm. a straight on. Yep. 
view. This looks, he looks uh, very scholarly, like a captain photo. A captain? Let's get captain. Yeah. Our... Oh, captain, my captain. Luke is laughing in the living room. I think I he's know. listening to. Is he I listening don't... to us? I don't know, but I wouldn't have like if I was thinking captain, so I wouldn't bad. have said scholarly. Like when you say captain, I think seafaring and Captain Horatio Hornblower, like that kind of captain, not scholarly. But the O Captain, my captain, reference to Dead Poet Society, which is one of our favorite movies. Um, so I guess I could see that connection that way. Yeah. All right. I think I think we're uh, we'll end uh, in our pose here. Okay, guys. Hope you're well. Um, stick with us because we're going to. We're going to come back up in a few minutes. Um, no, Drake, you don't need to worry about where you're at because you're going to be sitting. Ending it before the timer goes off? Yeah, by, by 30 seconds. I know. It's one minute. One minute? Yeah. I know because uh, those two started. Uh, <laughs> All right, guys. Um, we're signing off. We'll be back up um, in... 10-ish minutes, and then we're going to yeah. draw right there, right about 9 o'clock. Hope you're well. We'll see you in a few.